G'day guys and welcome back to another vlog. I've been MIA quite a bit. Last weekend, I got married. Crazy. But some important news. I started trialing a bit of a different video the other week. Pretty much the last month, I've been trialing a different style of video. And I've come to the conclusion that that's just not me. And that is not the type of video that I want to make. So from now on, enjoy the content and the videos that I find fun to make and that I like to make. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you guys get notifications every time I upload. For a while there, I started pumping out like three videos a week. We're going to compile three videos worth of content throughout a week into one just nice high quality video. Lots coming up in the next few months. So up on number one this week is we've got to do some work on the drift car. So at the moment, we've got Ruby's wide body kit, like half fitted the drift car. Whether or not I'm going to go down that route is another day and another thought. But today we have to get the kit off and we're going to get the car ready for Friday night drifts. If I haven't drifted the this car for at least over a month now. Um, so hopefully it still starts. Yep, still starts. We have the set of SSR Mark III's. These are the only wheel and tire combo I have that will be suitable for the front of the drift car for drifting. So you can have lots of grip at the front and no grip in the back. And that's exactly how we want it. Okay, so one of you guys actually kindly donated to me this big ass carbon fiber spoiler. There's one problem with it and it's that it's got these really tiny stands, which I think when you're doing a wing this big, if you go a really tiny stand, it looks crap. Like I hate the way it looks, to be honest. I just think it looks really ricey. Um, if you're gonna go a big wing, the wing's gotta sit high. It's gotta sit like up here, not down there. I just don't like the look of it. So I don't know if you guys remember, this is my, this is my old, Ugh, wing. This is the wing we had on the BMW. It's a bit broken. It is the, ex uh, the exact same length. And I was thinking, well, there's no way I'm putting this on with these little tiny stands. So I found the old stands that I used for that car. I realized that if I just drill some holes, we will have big stands and then we'll uh, have a big wing. I've wanted to put a massive spoiler on this car since I got it. And I don't care what any of you say because I think it looks cool. The difference in height. Have a go at this. So the previous owner, <laughs> well, the previous owner before him, I have no idea, has tech screwed into this carbon. That is diabolical. You guys are nuts. So both plates are on and this this is what we're currently looking like. So you can see the angle at which it will sit. It look pretty cool. <laughs> so I've just screwed it in with two screws so that we're not going too permanent if we don't want to. Yes, I've just put holes in there, but that's easily wrapped over or bogged over. So I'm really not concerned. But I've just put two holes in and now we're just gonna stand back, have a look at it from all angles and make sure that we want it there and drill all the other holes. Hopefully bolt it down and we can get it secured. But I'm not gonna do that until we've got the rest of the body kit back on and the car is sitting on the ground with its new wheels. Then we can figure out whether we love it or we hate it. So with the realization of the fact that I have an exhaust literally split and blown in half, thought, okay, so I really want to go drifting. So I'm thinking, how am I going to fix this exhaust, man? Like, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this clamp that I did find and we're just going to see if it works. We're going to see if it fits. Um, and if it does fit, then I can go get another one. Maybe we can run it just for this weekend. This bad boy out. And we'll see if the clamp actually fits around that. Oh, actually, I don't think it's gonna work because look, the bung is right there, which means, yeah, now nah, look, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, getting the clamp around that. Okay, there's one last thing we can do to maybe make drifting this week. And that is to go behind my house and try and find the old exhaust that I threw out from this car when I got it. Oh, I can actually see the exhaust already. So that's a good sign. And there it is. That looks very rough. 
and very old. So the problem being with this is I don't think I have a set of headers that I can use that will fit these because this is just the factory exhaust. So before I move this, I'll go see if I have headers somewhere, but I really don't think I do. I think I would have thrown them out. All right, we really unfortunately did throw out the stock headers when we did the build, so I guess don't throw parts out. I don't normally throw parts out, but you know, use stock headers, I'm gonna use them again. So I'm gonna put the stock exhaust back on. Unless I can get a free pair of stock headers in the next day. No go, no go. All right, so a big thing that I wanted to do with Ruby um, was when I first started doing this car, I it was gonna be way more of a race car than it was a street car. So I kind of started building it down the path of race. And then I ended up making it into kind of a street race hybrid. But what I did, which is very silly of me, was I cut the dash completely straight in this car, which actually ended up not looking very clean. It, you know, was cut and you could see all the wiring. And so essentially I just cut out the glove box and yeah, it didn't make for a very clean look. So luckily for us, the drift car has a fully intact uncracked dash. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dash out of Ruby um, which is the cut one and I'll show you guys that in a tick, but we're gonna take that out and we're going to be taking the dash out of the drift car and we're gonna be putting that into Ruby so that we end up with a nicer, cleaner look in the show car and the drift car. Who cares, you know what I mean? Yeah, today we start the little bit of a tear down on Ruby's interior, so. <sighs> First thing we gotta do quickly is just get the roof off. Lucky for us, the roof, the fastback is completely made of fiberglass, so it's super, super light. So super easy for me to just jump off like that. Now that we have the roof off, we can actually kind of get into the interior and see what we're working with. And I'll tell you what, it pains me to start ripping this apart. So this is what we're dealing with. This is what the interior of Ruby currently looks like. Looks really good, not gonna lie. Looks very, very nice. I don't know, it's just been well put together. Looks sick. So I cut the glove box out of this and I just cut it along the straight line there. I also cut that off like an idiot. Um, so yeah, you can fully get into here, access all that stuff. So it's really good from a point of view of like working on a car, but when you're trying to have a car look really clean and nice, yeah, it just wasn't the way to go about it, I think. It'll be nice to have it like this in the drift car. It'll give the passengers a bit more room. Poor Ruby, man, look at her. Look how sad she looks. Wouldn't it just be nice if I could just drive this car how it is? The dream. The dream.